Hi, let's draw a penguin from a bean shape. Sketch or strong, let's have some fun telling stories. You can draw! We'll be using some white paper, a pencil, an eraser, a black marker, and some colored pencils, or you can use some crayons. And don't forget, put some paper or some cardboard or poster board under your drawing so when you're using the black marker, it doesn't go through your drawing onto the table. So let's start with our pencil. We'll draw very lightly the big shapes that we use to create this character. Don't press very hard on your pencil. We just don't want a real light pencil line. After drawing the shapes with a pencil, we'll go back and trace those lines with a black marker. Let's draw a bean shape. It's kind of like an oval that you bend a little bit. It'll look something like this. And next, we'll draw a circle for the eye. And right next to the eye, we'll draw a small triangle, and that will become the beak. And just below the beak, we draw a line to the middle of the bean, and then curve around and straight down to the bottom of that bean shape and then a small triangle for the tail. And for the penguin's foot, we'll draw a curved line at the bottom of that bean shape and a straight line at the bottom of that. It should look something like this. And finally, the wing shape, which is a small triangle. And those are the shapes we'll need to draw our bean-shaped penguin. Now, if your shapes look kind of like the ones you see here, then you're ready to go to the next step, and that is to trace the pencil lines with a black marker. We'll draw the eye first, that circle. And then after the eye, we'll trace the bean shape over the head and down to the tail. And where the small triangle is, we'll kind of curve it up into a little flipped up tail. And then we'll trace the pencil line on the front of the penguin, starting at the eye shape, down the front, around the bottom, and up again to that flipped up tail. And then we'll trace the small triangle for the beak and trace the pencil line under the beak over to the middle of the bean and down to the bottom. We'll draw the penguin's little wing. We'll use that little triangle as a guide. And then the penguin's foot. We'll trace that curved line on the top. We'll put a little toe in there and finish with a straight line across the bottom. And back to the eye, we'll put a small circle in there with a tinier circle inside of that and then color around that tiny circle. Makes the eye look kind of shiny. A little line through the beak for his mouth, an eyebrow, and a couple of hairs on the top of the penguin's head. We're finished with the marker drawing, and now we can erase the pencil lines. We used the pencil lines to draw the basic shapes so we'd know where to put the ink lines. But now that we're finished with the ink drawing, we can go back and erase all the pencil lines. Now you should have a nice, clean ink drawing of your little penguin, and it's time to add some color. I'll fast forward through this part of the video so that you'll be able to see how I colored this little penguin character. It's time to pick up your crayons or your colored pencils and have some fun. Well, that was fun. We drew a little penguin character from a bean shape. I bet yours looks great. And remember, the more you practice, the better you get. Well, thank you for joining me. And remember, every great story needs a great character. So with some practice, you'll be drawing some great characters for your special stories. So until next time, have fun. I'll see you then.